Once again, we're in our modifying objects.dwg file, and we're still looking at the conference tables that we created in the previous video. We're going to double click on the wheel to zoom extents, and you can see now that our office is definitely taking shape. What we're going to look at now is dividing this wall here in our office here, bottom left of the building. Now, you'll notice we've got our yellow polyline kind of sitting there in the way, and we want to retain that. So just select it first, like so, right click, and we'll move it, and we'll move it using that bottom left corner. Now, the benefit we have there is that left corner tallies up with the internal corner here in this office anyway, so we can drop it back if we need it. We're going to zoom in on that office again, where we placed the conference tables previously. And what we're going to look at now is dividing this wall up using some setting out points. So we're going to go to the Layers panel on the drop down here on the Home tab on the ribbon. And we want the A setting out layer, which is this one here. So that needs to be the current drafting layer. We're going to go over to the Utilities panel and click on the Flyout and go to Point Style. And you'll remember that we utilized this point style previously in previous videos. Don't worry about the size or anything, just click on OK for now. And then what we're going to do, we're going to expand out the draw panel here, click on the pin to keep it open, and we're going to utilize these two here, divide and measure. Now we're going to look at divide first, that's this command here. Come into the drawing area and we're going to select the line that we want to divide, and then we're going to specify the number of segments, which I'm going to put in as five. And you'll see there now that we've got some really nice setting out points where I can now place some lines to represent new internal partition walls. So what I could do now is use Make Current here on the Layers panel. And I'll pick one of my walls over here so I'm on the right layer. And then I literally just draw some lines and I use the Node Snap. Now make sure on your Object Snaps down here you've got the Node Snap switched on. And what I can do now is click in the drawing area, and there you go. There's the node snap. Click and drag, utilizing my polar tracking there. Let's say we're going to go for 5 meters, 5,000, and enter, and then enter to finish. There's the start of one partition wall. I can then place another one using the line command, like so, or I could, if I wanted to, just hit escape, select that one, right click, copy selection, and just go from node to node if I want to. There's the end point and take it down to that node there and then enter to finish. Now what we're starting to do there is space out that office space and utilize it effectively rather than it just being a great big space. Let's take that back a few steps using undo. If I go back one, two, three, four, and then maybe one more so I lose those setting out points. We're still on the setting out layer again you'll notice where we've done the undo command. Now, I'm going to measure this time. So I go back up here, like so, to this command, the measure command. And I'm going to select the object to measure, but I'm going to select it at the end I want to measure from. So I'm going to start down here and click, like so. And then I'm going to specify the length of segment I want to measure up that wall, which is going to be 3,500, 3.5 meters. And can you see there, it's placed the setting out points 3,500 there, 3,500 there, and then 3,500 there with a remainder at the end. Now, if I'd done it at this end of the line, it would have done it the opposite way. Now, again, I can go back to my Make Current and pick one of the wall lines, and I can draw some lines now going from the node snaps. Remember, I've done an undo, so I will need to switch the node snap back on again in my running object snaps. Click once in the drawing area, click there for the first point of my line, come out by the 3,500 or 5,000, whichever dimension you want to use, enter like so, and then enter to finish. And you can see that I can start placing lines using these setting out points, which are created using the measure command. Now, as you can see, it's very quick and easy to be really accurate with the divide and measure tools in AutoCAD. So what I'll do there now is I'll just place one more line and I'll utilize the node snap there, come out by 5,000 again, 
and enter and then enter again to finish the line command. And then what I could do is bring my polyline back in as well if I want to. So I can select it here, right click, move, use that corner there, take it into that corner there and we're done. As you can see, we've got our wall lines placed and our polyline is back where it should be. And we can clearly see our setting out points accurately because of the point style that we set previously when we first started using divide and measure.